factor 12x cubed plus 12x squared minus 9x. Now, this is a trinomial, but it's a little bit different from the trinomials we've seen before because we have an x cubed term instead of an x squared term being the highest degree term. So we can't quite start with the AC method, but there is something else that we can do from the get-go, and that is factoring out a greatest common factor. Now, I'm going to give you an important piece of advice. Anytime we're trying to factor a polynomial, if there is a greatest common factor, you should pull it out immediately for the first step. Always, always, always. So in this case, we're going to start by pulling out the greatest common factor. And if we look at all three of these terms, we can see that they're all divisible by 3x. So we're going to factor out a 3x. That leaves us with 4x squared plus 4x minus 3. And now if we look at the trinomial we have left, this is something that is in the right form for the AC method. So we're going to leave that 3x out front, and we're going to perform the AC method on the leftover trinomial. In this case, a times c is going to be 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12, and b is 4. We need two numbers that have a product of negative 12 and a sum of 4. Those numbers are going to be 6 and negative 2, because 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, and 6 plus negative 2 is 4. Now we're going to use those to split the middle term, but a couple of things. We're going to keep the GCF out front. Once we've pulled it out, it's going to stay out there the whole time. But I'm also just going to do one thing differently. I'm going to change those parentheses to brackets just to make everything a little bit more clear. You'll see why in just a moment. Let's use those two numbers to rewrite that middle term. We're going to have that 4x squared still, but that 4x is now going to be a 6x and a negative 2x, still minus 3. Now, once we've split the middle term, we've got four terms there, so we can use grouping. So inside the brackets, we're going to do some grouping. The first group has a GCF of 2x. Both of those are divisible by 2x. So we're going to pull out a 2x, and that gives us 2x plus 3 as leftovers. If you look at the second group, they're both divisible by 1, but here we notice we're going to want to pull out a negative 1 so that we're left with positive leftovers, 2x plus 3. And this is where I'd like to point out why I switched to brackets. Because here, inside the grouping, we have parentheses. And then if we had parentheses on the outside, it might get a little bit more confusing, which parentheses went with which parentheses and how everything was grouped. So switching this to brackets just kind of separates those out and makes it a little bit more clear in my eyes. So we still have that 3x out front. But now when we finish the grouping, we have 2x plus 3 as the GCF, and that leaves us with leftovers 2x minus 1. And the very last thing is that we drop the brackets. In the end, we will not need them because all of this is multiplication. This is 3x times 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. Those brackets don't do anything for us mathematically. They just get in the way at this point. So we can write this a little bit cleaner as 3x times 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. And that is our final answer.